Ciao, this is Mark Marcantonio. Uh, we're going to try to get some smallmouth bass this morning. There should still be some of the spawn left, so we're going to look for them shallow. And one of the best baits to do that with is a Yamamoto shad shaped worm. I'm going to use color number 031, which is nice and easy to see in the clear water, and easy for the bass to see, and easy for me to see. One of the keys to drop shotting when you're fishing for spawning bass is they tend to get spooky, especially this is after Memorial Day weekend, the day after. And so these fish have been worked over pretty hard already and are pretty spooky. So I'm using a 1 8 ounce quick drop drop shot sinker. And I may even go down to a 1 16 ounce quick drop drop shot weight. Uh, very tiny but very effective and that's what you need for these spooky bass that have been seen a lot of lures over the last three days of this Memorial Day weekend. So let's give it a shot and see how it works. Another important part of sight fishing um, is to use good polarized sunglasses. I need to wear prescription sunglasses. I normally wear progressives but these are bifocal solar bat sunglasses and I really like these because they wrap around your face and I can keep these on at high speed and they've got excellent polarization so I can see clearly under the water. Okay, I thought I'd show you one of the native species here in American Lake are these little rock bass, they call them. Got the bright red eye and the, the variegated pattern along the sides. They're like a little sunfish, only they're called rock bass. Small, small mouth. Sight fished it. The Yamamoto shad shaped worm. Gamakatsu number four split shot, drop shot hook. Not big, but it's a fish. Thank you. 
jump shot it. Small mouth. Caught that on the 031 Yamamoto shad shape worm and a number four Gamakatsu split shot drop shot hook and a 1 8 ounce quick drop drop shot weight. American Lake smallmouth bass. Pretty fish. Let's let her go. So here's the Yamamoto shad shaped worm, color 031, blue pearl. And here's the number four Gamakatsu split shot drop shot hook. What I do is I go through the rounded end, but right at the nose, and I nose hook it dead center, just like that. And the main point is to make sure that the point is up higher than the tip of the nose. That way you hook the fish better so that the hook point doesn't turn into the worm. And again, 1 8 ounce quick drop drop shot weight. Let's go get another one. Another nice small mouth. Not real big, but he's plenty fun. Hooked right in the roof of the mouth with that Gamakatsu split shot drop shot hook. These hooks are money. I'll tell you, I'm so excited. This is a number four. A lot smaller than what a lot of people use, but it is sharp as heck, strong as heck, and you don't need it any bigger. It doesn't take any force to set the hook, especially when you're using a six pound test line and a 1 8 ounce quick drop. So that's the way to get it done. All right, let's get her out. Back in. Yamamoto shad shaped worm. Gets them every time. Let's get another one. Look at that. Very next cast. Even got a yellow perch on the Yamamoto shad shaped worm. That's some good eating right there. But we're going to let it go. Yamamoto shad shaped worm, color 031. Yellow perch. American Lake. There he goes.
then the largemouth like them too. There's a small, but it's a largemouth, largemouth bass. Yamamoto motor shed shaped worm, little guy. Cute, nice fish. Another Yamamoto shad shape worm hooked right in the top. That's where that number four Gamakatsu split shot drop shot hook gets them every time. You don't lose them when they're hooked there. That little hook is sharp as sin. And the one eighth, I mean one eighth ounce quick drop drop shot weight. All right, looking good. Memorial Day weekend. American Lake.